What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be sharing what's in my hospital bag and what's in my baby's diaper slash hospital bag as well. I know to many of you, you guys are going to be like, if you give you this in the hospital, you're doing too much, you're overpacking. Well, I'm one of those people that likes to be overprepared rather than underprepared. So, with that being said, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with my bag. You know what, we're gonna start with the things that do not fit in my bag. <laughs> Probably gonna put in my purse. My tripod, because I wanna make sure everything is documented, especially because we're waiting to find out the sex of our baby, so you know we need the whole, it's a boy, it's a girl, on camera. Of course, camera I'm recording on. Charger, batteries, all that good stuff. And I mean, there is no other photograph like a Polaroid photograph. So, gotta take some pictures on this. So I know a lot of people like to do like those roller um, carry-ons, which I have and I really like, but I found this cute duffel bag at TJ Maxx for like $20. Again, really, really cute and cheap, so why not? So yeah, it looks like this. Does have like a, uh, what is it? Body cross strap. Okay, this shit's heavy. So I don't plan on doing epidural. I have a lot of reasons why, and it's not because I think I'm hella badass. But anywho, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go in there with breathing techniques. Again, I say this now. Who knows? Things may change. But I wanna create the most peaceful atmosphere in the delivery room so i'm taking my essential oil diffuser along with my two favorite essential oils eucalyptus and lavender oh shit my back hurts i got this super cute um stars above pajama and this is a target brand i love it the material is super soft it is a one piece so even more comfortable this is my type of shit to be honest so shout out to my cousin for it I also went ahead and bought a robe. They are pretty similar, but I need I needed a robe because the one that I have is like super thick. So this is super lightweight and thin. You know, I feel like I don't want to be uncomfortable after giving birth. So it's super breathable. So I'm starting off with like all the clothes as far as what's in the bag. A nursing bra. This nursing bra is life. I'm gonna try to link as much as many items as I can down below. Just so you, if you're interested, you know where to find them. But this I got on Amazon. It came with a four pack and I'm obsessed. But when we leave the hospital, I wanna make sure I'm comfortable as well. So I packed my one of my favorite tank tops that I also got on Amazon. And this really, really cute mama crew neck I got off Boohoo. Really cute. I packed some leggings. These are just basic leggings just so I can be comfortable. I definitely want something that compresses me a little bit, but also gives me enough like space to like breathe down there or whatever. Now I packed this just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on literally as soon as I, or right before I leave the hospital, but it's a Colombian waistband. It's a little corseted, not too crazy. It's not like it's like an actual waist trainer. It's just kind of like a corset slash waistband, which I'm a huge fan of but we'll see how i feel after but i'm packing it just in case because i heard a lot of women feel like they're just after and they recommend taking a waistband so that's why i packed that i packed some granny panty um high rise undies in black okay but some granny panties are actually pretty cute nike flip-flops a charger a rosary from the holy land very significant to me a gift from one of my closest friends and it's a bracelet that says you fucking got this so yeah pretty meaningful i feel like the you fucking got this is gonna give me an extra push while i'm delivering so super meaningful super thoughtful i love you brian thank you so much my makeup bag honestly in here i don't have a lot of stuff it looks like it is, but it's not. I have a brush. 
hydrating cream, hairspray, concealer, deodorant, and mascara, eyelash curler. Nothing crazy, so I might have been to show you. But <clears throat> I do want to share that I am taking some masks with me. I know a lot of people say, you're not going to want to. Um, I'm probably going to want to keep myself entertained, so here's that. Also, shout out to Brian for these masks. We have a lip mask and a soothing mask. So it's infused with watermelon extract and rosemary oil. Super refreshing. Instead of getting like mini travel sizes of everything, I went ahead and picked this little kit up at Target. And it basically it's like a refillable travel set. And I packed some shampoo, some body wash, an exfoli a facial exfoliator, some hydrating cream, facial cream or lotion, whatever, and some gel, toothbrush, toothpaste, and some hand sanitizing wipes. All right, so here comes the not so exciting part of the hospital bag, postpartum care. This, I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like I'm more scared of postpartum recovery than actually delivering a baby. But again, I, I'm going in there as a first timer, so we'll see if I still on the same metal track. <clears throat> so all the postpartum care. I watched a lot of these what's in my hospital bag videos and I just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to pack, what did, what did I think was ideal for me. And I saw that the Frida postpartum recovery kit was like on everyone's um, videos. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I wanted and I was so determined to get the whole pack, but I started asking myself, am I really gonna use all of this? I know that a lot of this I can get at a drugstore and for a fraction of the price, but there's a lot of things that I was like, hmm, this is probably gonna be actually worth my money. So what I did is I went ahead and bought <clears throat> some of these always discreet um, underwear. They smell so freaking good. And again, these are recommended by a lot of people. They even have like cute little designs on them. I heard really good things about these. These were only like 15 bucks for a 12 pack. I'm packing four again. I just, I don't know if I'm overpacking or whatever, but whatever. So I did pick up two items from the Freedom Mom kit that I thought would be useful for me. I got the Freedom Mom upside down bottle. I heard that this one has more room for water, is longer and applies more pressure down there. So I thought that this one would be worth my money and that this was about $15. And I also picked up a eight pack of the instant ice pads from the Freedom Mom kit. So basically, it's a two-in-one, it's an instant cold therapy and absorbent pad in one. So I feel like I've heard a lot of stories where women are like sent home with gloves of ice to ice themselves down there. And it's like, no, like that's, that sounds painful as it is. And with, you know, a big old bag of, or a glove at that, it sounds like it hurts. So I decided not to be a cheap ass and to get these, so. We'll see how it goes. Okay, last but not least from my hospital bag, and then we'll move on to babies, are these disposable nipple pads essentials because, I mean, I'm using them now because I started lactating. Ugh, because I started lactating, can't even speak English, at seven months, so essentials. So I'm still debating on whether I wanna take this boppy pillow with me or if I wanna take my pregnancy pillow. Don't know yet, but just don't packing either one. Oh, so exciting! Matzo fun! Diaper bag! So first of all, this diaper bag, I added on my registry on Amazon. I love it, it's amazing. And let's show you what's in it. Shout out to Fernando for this diaper bag. Mwah. I love you a lot. So pretty cool. Has a lot of compartments for a lot of things. Everywhere, which is what I love. So pretty important, I have my childbirth preference sheet and this is just to give them a little bit of insight of how I want my 
environment in the room to be and what kind of coping mechanisms I want with labor. That's really the only thing I have in that compartment. So it comes with this cute little, um, hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, I must not be calling the wife here. No. It's giving me pain. It's giving me pain. I'm filming. Oh. What's up? Oh, this ain't wifey. I'm talking. I'm talking to all It's giving me pain. Hold on. Let me pause my video. Yeah. All right. Back to video. I don't know what she would call this. A wristlet. But pretty cool that it came with it because in here I'm storing... Uh, the passy clip and two passies. These are the soothies from Philips. Something also that's cool about this diaper bag is that it has like a changing pad. I'm actually gonna take it out. I just wanted to leave this in here so I could show you guys. And I know October has been a funny month, but whatever. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be super cold. Uh, so I did pack a fuzzy blanket. Super, super cute and warm. I can't wait for that season when it's actually super cold. And I also packed a really thin, not really thin, but like, you know, not super thick blanket. Not to mention it has elephants on it. And elephants are good luck. So if you don't know, now you know. So yeah, two blankets. I know they're gonna give me diapers at the hospital, but annoying me, I still packed uh, four diapers two size one and then two newborn size, some honest baby wipe. I also packed the mommy and me bad eye bracelets because you know, el malo que existe, tanto como el bueno, hay malo. So, so I just packed one pair of socks. Nice little, nice little fuzzy, fuzzy, nice little fuzzy, <laughs> nice little fuzzy socks. So I, I packed, I packed two mittens, um, if it's a boy, just plain up white mittens. And if it's a girl, these cute, cute uh, little mittens. They have flower prints on them and it actually matches what I'm about to go into now. So if it's a girl, this is the Vini. Again, it matches with the mittens. And a matching blanket. So my plan is to swaddle the baby up in this little blanket and toss this beanie on. And then, I can't show you guys the name plaques, but I had to get two name plaques because I don't know the sex of the baby. And one of them um, obviously is a girl's. So I plan on swaddling the baby and uh, getting a picture um, in this particular outfit if it's a girl. And if it's a boy, pretty similar outfit and of course the name plaque. Um, I plan on swaddling the baby with this cute, 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 off baby, or it's like a baby bluish, grayish um, swaddle. And nice little beanie. Again, they're matching. And this is just for like, welcome to the universe outfit along with the name plaque, just so I can get a nice cute picture. Now, last but not least, <clears throat> um, the outfits we're gonna take the baby home in. And I say outfits just because obviously I don't know the sex of the baby, so I had to like pack gender neutrally. And um, yeah, so if it's a girl, it's gonna be these little leggings with this little one shop onesie. A nice just simple onesie this is a three month but it actually looked pretty small I'm gonna be so honest with you I thought I got a lot of um, newborn clothes and turns out I only got like two onesies that are newborn and I packed the two onesies right here but even then yeah anywho so if it's a girl this is gonna be the outfit hopefully it fits and un moñito just a nice little bow it's a little wrinkled, but baby girl will make it look cute, you know, if we have a girl. And if it's a boy, and if that outfit fits, I'll just toss, toss on this little small beanie. I feel like it's a little 
male-ish. Or, or this outfit. So again, I feel like I packed like three different sizes, gender neutrally, and if it's a girl, I'll just put the little bow on. Um, so this one, ten this one's actually a little smaller. And it comes with a matching beanie. This one is super gender neutral, but it looks a little bit bigger. Mind you, it is a newborn size, but this is like my favorite onesie. And if it's a girl, I'll just toss that, that purple magenta uh, bow on top. So that's that. But all right, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're a mom-to-be and you're probably watching this video because you need ideas, watch as many videos as you want. That's exactly what I did. And you know yourself better than anybody else. So pack whatever you think is going to be convenient or essential to you. Don't listen to anybody. Literally, that's my advice to everybody. That's why I've had such a positive pregnancy because I don't listen to anybody. If I want to pack something, if I want to overpack, I'm going to overpack, all right? So... I hope you guys enjoyed it again and if you're new here don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time